everyone, my name is Victor Wu and I'm a product manager here at GitLab. And today I wanted to share with you a really awesome, cool new feature coming in GitLab 11.7 called Child Epics. So GitLab is a single application for the complete DevOps lifecycle as you see on the screen here. And one of those stages in the lifecycle is the plan stage. And so the plan stage includes uh, a bunch of product categories. And one of those product categories is called um, well, we have here Agile Portfolio Management. And within that particular product category, we have something really cool called an Epic. So you might have seen this already if you've been using Epics already in GitLab. So this is what a typical Epic looks like inside GitLab. But what we're shipping in GitLab 11.7, and just to preface that 11.7 is coming in January 22nd, uh, 2019, as you see um, when I'm recording here, it's January 10th. So just in a in, in over a week's time, I uh, will be sharing this feature. We'll be shipping it as part of GitLab 11.7. So back to this epic. As you can see, this is an epic that you've seen and probably used um, already if you've been using GitLab. But one thing um, that might be a little bit different that you haven't noticed uh, on this screen is that there's a new category or a new section here called epics. And so before, we've always had issues that you've been attached to a particular epic. And now you can attach also epics to epics. So that's what we mean by child epics. Essentially, you can attach epics unto epics, or nested epics, or sub epics, um, however you want to call them. So the example I'll give here is actually I'm using production data on GitLab.com. So uh, this is actually uh, this is actually re real data um, because we're a transparent company. I can share this uh, information with everybody on the internet. And so what's really funny is that I'm actually using the epic that I'm demoing right now. This is like the actual dem the epic that we're actually tracking this particular feature. And so for example, more broadly, we're uh, calling this feature flexible work breakdown structure with epic relationships. You know, one of those epic relationships is, is the child epic. And so um, we've done all this work. We've done attach an epic to an epic as part of 11.7, as you can see. And what we want to do is we want to do additional work in the future. So you see that we're scoping out additional work. But another thing we want to do is some of that additional work, instead of just individual issues as part of this epic, why don't we group all those additional issues into another epic and put that epic as a sub-epic of this epic? So if that's confusing, I'll just show you what I mean. So right here, I have another epic already scoped out with two additional issues. I have viewing epic relationships and epics and roadmaps. So my first epic is about creating the structure, and my second epic is about uh, visualizing that, whether it's using um, you know, a tree structure or using a roadmap structure and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna take this particular epic you see on the screen, 644, and make it a child epic of 312. And all I have to do is copy this link here, which I've done, and I'm just gonna click here, paste, and click add, and there you go. Now this epic is a child epic of 312. And what's really cool is as I refresh here, you can see that on this particular epic, the parent is also shown in the sidebar here. So you can click here to go to the parent and that will bring you to this particular epic. And so you can see also from this epic, now you have a child. So that's all really nice and cool and fine. But what's really awesome is how you can actually leverage child epics. So what I've shown here is a way to have a substructure to track um, work that you're doing in your particular team or your organization, or maybe across multiple teams. But what you can also use epics for is um, you know, initiatives, strategic themes, and, and so on and so forth. And so that's what actually we're doing at GitLab. So at GitLab, we have what we're calling um, category epics. Um, so we we, we make these epics and we, we put this label called product category and we surf this, um, these links in other pages um, such as here um, to find, um, to organize uh, the GitLab product. And so we have what we're calling um, epic, a product category epic vision epics. I know that's a mouthful, but essentially we're using these epics uh, um, objects to represent vision, um, our vision for that particular product category. So these are not necessarily um, deliverable work or planned work, but it's a page that represents um, the strategy, this initiative. So it's, it's, long, uh, it's a long, uh, long lasting initiative. And so it would make sense if this is an initiative that can, I can also attach relevant epics to that initiative. And I'm going to do exactly that here. So I'm going to take my work breakdown structure without epic relationships epic, 
I'm going to copy that here and I'm going to paste it here exactly there and voila right there now I can anybody that comes to this plan category vision for agile portfolio management they can see oh what are the relevant epics for that uh, particular category vision so I've just started working on this particular category vision page or this epic and so in the future I'm going to add more epics that are relevant to the agile portfolio management um, product category and so what's really helpful is then you know a customer or user or whoever is watching this video if you are doing so and then you click on the link that I'm gonna you know put in the YouTube um, com uh, description later you can come to this particular page you can click here you can now see this particular epic and you can dig down further and so on and so forth you can go all the way down to the particular issue and you can see comments and designs and so on and so forth so you can see for this particular issue we've already had a lot of comments and, and, and you know description and as a user you can go in and start you know commenting and so so that's great so so actually that's what I'm gonna do next is invite all of you watching this video to comment on these ideas so what you've seen today you know looks very simple and it's uh, that's how we roll at GitLab we, we ship the smallest iteration that we can think of that we think would be useful and then we want to build out this further so if you actually click on this epic you can see some of the great um, really fun things where we're, we're, we're thinking about and for example that's what I just showed you here how we're going to incorporate um, uh, this substructure the, these child epics as a concept in the roadmap view in the future we already have designs and we would love your feedback so do please participate and one thing I wanted to end off with is the roadmap view itself looks just the same as before and it looks um, absolutely beautiful you can see that you know you have the epics here you can see the the roadmap bars from the left to the right and so that's unchanged with child epics you can still see all your epics and the start date and end dates on the roadmap view but again as I mentioned earlier we're planning to uh, improve that and you can actually see the substructure in the roadmap view in the future so thanks for watching and uh, yeah click on the links uh, in the description uh, talk to you next time. Bye now.